Can really old air defense systems reliably defend the skies against modern weapons? Yes, they can. Proved by the Ukrainian Army. Today, the Gepard self-propelled air defense systems protect the Ukrainian sky very well, not only from slow air targets, but also from low-flying fighters and even from cruise missiles, which Russia uses to attack the largest country in Europe. How is it that a system with almost 60 years of history can stand up to modern missiles? Let's take a look. The development of the new generation, uh, Flugabwehrkanon Panzer, began in 1966. At that time, Germany was armed with American M42 Duster self-propelled anti-aircraft guns of the 1950s, which were already obsolete and needed to be replaced. It should be said that it was not the anti-aircraft guns themselves that were obsolete at that time, but the systems of target detection and targeting and the voracious carburetor V6 did not meet the military requirements in terms of power and efficiency. Already in 1969 began testing of prototypes, and in 1976 began serial production of anti-aircraft self-propelled guns, called Gepard, in the best traditions of German tank construction. Modernization began in 1985 and included installation of a laser rangefinder and replacement of radios. In 1986, the Bundeswehr set the task to develop the next generation SAM. Work on the Gepard II began in 1988, but was unfortunately curtailed in 1992 due to a sudden change in the geopolitical situation in the world. As it turned out, this was a mistake, as the collapse of the USSR did not reduce the threat of wars of conquest, but on the contrary, increased it, as crazy dictators were hatching revanchist plans to recreate the USSR in its former borders. Nevertheless, due to the end of the service life in 1996, another modernization was prepared which received the Index Gepard 1A2. The machines underwent maintenance and replacement of ballistic calculators with digital ones. The Gepard is a self-propelled cannon anti-aircraft gun which is used as the first echelon of air defense. The basis of the anti-aircraft gun is an Erlikon KDA anti-aircraft gun of 35mm caliber. Despite being 70 years old, the anti-aircraft gun itself is of very, very high quality in terms of both performance and reliability. Two of these guns are mounted in a turret on the chassis of the Leopard 1 tank. The turret is also equipped with two radars, search and follow-up, as well as a laser rangefinder and devices for visual observation of targets. To power the electronics and guidance mechanisms in the SAM is a separate engine of small volume. That is, in fact, one Gepard is an absolutely autonomous unit, which can operate without external means of guidance and target illumination. The rate of fire of one gun is 550 rounds per minute. The ammunition stock is 640 shells for air targets and 40 armor-piercing shells for ground targets. Target detection range is up to 15 kilometers, Firing range is up to 5 kilometers and altitude is up to 4 kilometers. The range and altitude of the shot depends on the type of projectiles. They can be different. The range of firing at ground targets is 1 kilometer. The fire control system is digital on a Motorola 68020 processor. In recent upgrades, the fire control system has been integrated with modern digital target designation and combat operations management systems. Gepards are currently in service with Brazil, Jordan, Qatar, Romania, and Ukraine. The Gepards' combat performance in Ukraine in repelling airborne terrorist attacks has shown the effectiveness of this weapon against modern cruise missiles HA-101 and 3M-14, which Russia uses in terrorist attacks on Ukraine's rear cities. The SAMs are even more effective against small, slow aerial targets such as drones, Due to their mobility and autonomy, such anti-aircraft guns protect the Ukrainian army near the front, even when moving. Three downed cruise missiles are known for sure, one of them being the HA-101, which Russia launched at a Kyiv power plant. The number of downed drones, both attack and reconnaissance, is very difficult to specify. Due to the secrecy and information silence regime, the work of the Gepards is almost impossible to track, as the installations are always moving. However, their work is often heard in Kiev and not only during the next Russian attacks. As we can see, in the world of military equipment and armaments, old does not mean bad. And even though the concept of anti-aircraft guns is about a hundred years old, 
and specific models of guns on new equipment are at least 70 years old, it does not mean that they have ceased to be effective against enemy air targets. Even if these targets are modern, stuffed with electronics and other systems. After all, there's nothing like a good old Colt, as they used to say in America. And Jeppards are the cold of air defense. Well, we can only rejoice that the old equipment serves the good and protects the lives of people in Ukraine daily shelled by Russia and not rotting somewhere on the site of a military unit long forgotten by people and God. So let's wish the air defense officers working on Gepards to put all the lines exactly on target and the machines will serve them faithfully for a long time. We are waiting for the victory of good in the fight with the evil.